Feed a cold, starve a fever is a saying that dates back to the medieval times. We now consider it to be an old wives' tale because why on earth would starving yourself while you have a fever help you recover from illness faster? The fact is that immune systems are huge energy sinks, and so it only stands to reason when they are fully operational, we should be providing our bodies with enough energy through eating to keep them operating on full swing. But, as I'm sure many of you will have experienced, when we get the flu, our appetite is the first thing we lose. This is called a sickness behavior, and it is a response generated within ourselves and not by the pathogen that's infecting us. Something really amazing about sickness behaviors is the fact that they occur in almost all animals. You feel lethargic when you get sick. So does your dog Lucky, your parrot Crackers, and even the ants that are marching up your driveway. That's right, everything from bugs to humans exhibit the same internally generated sickness behaviors. My research focuses on the fact that something so highly conserved must serve an important function. I use a caterpillar called the tobacco hornworm to study the enigma of illness-induced anorexia, or loss of appetite while sick. By measuring gene transcription, the presence of certain proteins, as well as behavioral assays, I was able to show why, in these caterpillars, the cessation of feeding during illness makes the difference between life and death. The immune system, albeit big, is not the only resource-demanding system within our bodies. One that is often overlooked is the detoxification system. Food is absolutely covered in all kinds of microbes, toxins, and other little nasties. The detoxification system is our first line of defense against these things, and it stands sentinel to ensure they don't become an internal problem. It turns out that there is a competition for resources between these two systems. And my findings suggest there are certain molecules, such as glutathione, which are vital to both systems. By allowing my caterpillars to abstain from eating while they are ill, they are able to shift all of these limited molecules towards immunity, and they can decrease their exposure to toxins by simply avoiding their food. If I attempt to activate both systems at once, there is not enough of these limited molecules to go around, and the caterpillar cannot mount an efficient immune or detoxification response, which results in death. So, although it may seem logical to want to increase our energy intake when we are ill in order to replenish the energy we are expending, there is more at stake when we are sick than just energy in equals energy out. So at least in this case, starving a fever is not an old wives' tale after all.